Hey everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. So this is a quick video that's gonna show you how you can do sort of superhuman style onboarding where you don't let users into your app or product until they go through an onboarding call with you. Uh, and this is something that came up this week. Uh, we had a customer reach out and they said, hello mate, do you have any content about launch strategy in Outseta? We're very close to shipping our first app. The app is going to need some hand-holding and I don't want to just launch it and have people churn because they are confused. So ideally we want a wait list or something. As I started talking with this user, uh, he basically said, you know, while most um, SaaS apps are sort of focused on getting people into the product immediately, he very specifically didn't want to do that. He worried that if people got into the app, um, the app experience, you know, wasn't polished enough yet to really um, put the product's best foot forward. So he wanted to force all users immediately after sign up uh, into an onboarding call. This is something that's been popularized as of late by Superhuman, who same thing when you sign up, they force you to go through an hour long onboarding call where somebody brings you through the product and shows you how to use it. So honestly, it's a use case um, I hadn't thought about before in the context of Outseta, but I started thinking about it and it turns out this is something that we can support really, really well out of the box. So I'm gonna show you um, what that looks like. So here we are within Outseta, and if you come to Auth, Sign Up, and Login, on this screen you can set a number of settings about how you sign up and, and log in your users. Um, but this is uh, how you can set up this workflow. So. First things first, um, here where it says send sign up confirmation email, if you have any sort of site that you need users to come back to and log in, you want to leave this toggle checked. What that does is it sends the user after they subscribe an email that's going to validate their email address, but it also, it also prompts them to set a password so they can log into your site going forward. In this particular instance, the user does not want, or the customer does not want his users to be able to log in. He wants to sort of keep them out of the product intentionally until they go through onboarding. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually turn this off. So if you turn this toggle off, a user will subscribe, will capture their payment. We just don't send that confirmation email and thus they have no way to set a password and actually log in. So first step is turn this off. Once you do that, um, you can get into the signup settings. So this is the information you want to request from new subscribers at checkout. But down here, you also see a post signup URL. This is where we will redirect the user immediately after they subscribe for the first time. So this is gonna be a key field in this workflow. Uh, at Outseta, we send users post signup to a page that looks like this. It's just a thank you page. In this particular case, it thanks the user for, for signing up and lets them know that they should be looking um, for an email um, where they can set their password. But it also has this link to book an onboarding session. So in this particular use case, I would use this post sign up URL to send users to a page where you force them to book this onboarding session. And your copy could basically say, Thank you for signing up. You know, we put all new users through a one hour onboarding call, book your session below, below, and we will provide you with login credentials to our product at the end of that session. So if you do that, the user knows they have to book this call. And at the end of that call, that's when they're actually gonna get access to your product. So users can click this, you know, go to a Calendly or other scheduling tool, and you can get that, that session booked. Finally, you can have that call with the user, show them around the product, make sure they have a great first experience. But at the end of that call, you can, within your Outseta account, find the user and just generate a temporary password for them. So after you've shown them the product, generate this password, pass it off, and they can use that to log in going forward. So just like that, with a couple of um, changes to these settings, you've built support for that superhuman-esque onboarding experience. If you have any questions about this, just let me know. Thanks.